I was taught in Jamaica that the streets of England was paved with gold. So when I came to England and I saw white people sweep in the street and there was no gold, I said, huh? I felt very disillusioned when I came to England. We were told you can't come to Queen's country without wearing a suit and a big hat with a feather. <laughs> the first impression was the building. They were so close together. Coming from the West Indies and the building, they were so far apart. When I saw the buildings with the chimneys on top, and I thought there were soldiers just guarding the buildings. Like a lot of West Indians, I thought there were factories. I thought, my God, this country has got so many factories, lots of work for people to do. English food, atrocious. Oh dear, dear, I couldn't eat their food. And I never liked the food up to now, I don't like it. Because everything is still, and when I'm in Jamaica, I get fresh things, everything fresh. You know, in the 50s, there weren't many Caribbean shops, so we just had to make out with what the English grocers were selling. I could remember asking the milkman to deliver me a loaf of bread. When I came back from work, I couldn't find no bread. When I looked, the dog had it across the road. He just put it down on the doorstep and went. I said, oh my God, what is this? I never asked him to deliver another one. In the end, we complained so much that the companies started wrapping the bread. When I come to this country, it was very strange for me to see people eating fish and chips from newspapers. We regard newspaper back home as being dirty. And that would be the last thing I would eat out of. <laughs> the clothes were so drab and dull. Our style was much better. Yeah, we used to wear the zoot suit. The first time I experienced the fog and the darkness. I thought it was the end of the world. Scenes from Jack the Ripper, fog and that kind of thing. It was very depressing. I did miss the sunshine. The first time we saw snow, we just stood at the window and it was so beautiful. Why did I have to leave my country to come here? The impression they gave me was that they didn't really want me here as a black person. I wanted was to go back because all my kids were left home. I cried night, I cried day. I didn't want to be here. Once I'm here, I was prepared to stick it out. Couldn't just jump on a bus and go home.